it is officially finally summer. So if you still haven't met your weight loss goals that uh, you've been aiming for since the beginning of the year, and a lot of us haven't, go down below, check out Ideal Health, and see what it can do for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the New Hampshire Business Show. My name is Chris Pastrana, and today we're here with Katie Booker of RKB Primitive Signs and Gifts. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. So let's get going. I want to know about you, the business, where it all began. Okay, so the RKB, uh, the R is for my husband. Okay. His name is Richard, so okay. but it goes by Rick. Um, he would be here, but he is over in Guam right now. Okay. Because he is in the um, Air National Guard, so oh, wow. um, he's over in Guam. And um, so I always joke around at any of my events that my husband, he does 10% of the work and I do 90% yeah. of the work. So um, the K is for me and the last, the B is for Booker, our last name. So um, okay. we started about five years ago, uh, simply just making a sign for my brother and sister-in-law as an anniversary gift. And yeah. um, people, you know, friends commented, you know, oh, can I have one? Can I have one? And so... Five, in July, it'll be five years that I started making signs, mm -hmm. and um, it was simple, you know, just the marriage signs, or like if they wanted a quote, um, and then just kind of grew into more signs, and then I'm very crafty, so I was like, well, I'll make like primitive farmhouse decor, and so I find items, and I create them into like a nice household craft yeah so it's you know so it's more than just signs it's home decor yeah it's like I, I like to make <laughs> that's pretty cool so that's a very interesting jump because i know yeah you you made the one you said it was a wedding gift um yep yeah, for a anniversary gift for anniversary my gift. Okay. brother and sister-in-law yeah and then you decided to turn it into a business that's a very interesting you know path to go down right exactly <laughs> exactly yeah. so it you know it's fun and now it's a business yeah, yeah. that's pretty good so what was the point when you decided to turn it into a business um when i got so many people asking hey okay. can i have one can i have one and i was like oh you know what why don't i i could start doing this you know so um that's how it started yeah so what were you doing before you did all that um well i was in the medical field for 15 years oh, well. and um then became a stay home mom so mm -hmm. um it's kind of like my way of helping to contribute yeah um because um it's a yours mine and ours family and <laughs> you know having kids busy with activities so it's kind of my way of being able to do something but still be at home and because yeah. i can do all the work at home yeah and that's really cool yeah. and I, I like the approach um because a lot of people they're like yeah i'm a stay home mom well especially in today's day and age right you know it's very possible to still run a business yes and you know so for anyone listening <laughs> you know who thinks you can't run a business out of your house this is a perfect example of taking a hobby and you know, making a little more with out of it. Right, pretty cool. exactly. So I enjoy it. It's yeah. something that you, I enjoy doing. So yeah. um, it's nice. And what is also nice is, because um, my older daughter, she's 13. So, like, I'll ask her, what do you think of this? You know, and she gives her opinions, you know, and same with um, my, other, my stepdaughter, but she's my daughter. Um, you know, I'll ask her, you know, what do you think? Because, you know, each person has a different idea of yeah how things look you know so it's nice to be able to get the opinion of the kids and yeah of course my youngest she thinks everything is wonderful so <laughs> yeah the the young ones aren't very good judges of you know quality or anything right everything is <laughs> everything is super yeah that's pretty funny oh man so yeah, i know you have a piece here you yes. want to show that for the camera so oh. um this is so with the business it has grown to that I do events now so this is my next um, event is for you to come and make this welcome sign nice. so this is my sample um, so every event that I do I do up a sample so that people can see what they're gonna actually come and make but mm -hmm. I always tell everybody you end up making it your own mm -hmm. so you know just because this one is this color it doesn't mean that like you can't do the wood and white or 
you know, gray or green or whatever color you would like. Yeah. And same with the lettering. The lettering you can do differently. Um, so from start to finish, um, my husband does the woodworking part um, of, you know, cutting it and yeah. everything. And, um, but I do, you know, the part of with the people that come to the event. And we yeah. actually hold the, I hold the events at the Common Man in Concord. Okay. Yeah. Um, which makes for a nice fun night out. Um, because you can order whatever you would like at the restaurant. You have your own separate bill and, um, you know, you leave with an item. So when you sign up for an event, it's, you know, you get the full start to finish. Yeah. Um, so it's a, a nice fun night out yeah. for people. Um, I've done some others in the past. Um, you know, of making ones that say home and people customize it. And, yeah. um, I have also done one that it's like, uh, looks like a baseball plate and, um, mason jars with lights. And That's this cool. is my newest one because I like to get feedback from people. So yeah. I tell people, you know, what would you like to do as an event? And I throw out polls on my Facebook page and, yeah. Um, what people vote on is what ends up kind of happening. So this event is going to happen um, next Friday, June 30th. No, uh, June 29th, right? It's Friday the 29th? One of those two days. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and um, it's from 5 to 9. Mm -hmm. And so it makes for a fun night out. And I, I can also do home parties is yeah. the other thing that I offer. That's you know, pretty cool. If you want to have it at home. But I always say, you know, if you can go out and do it, then you don't need to worry about yeah. the cleanup or cooking or <laughs> yeah. anything like that for having people over. Yeah. You know. you know, ditch the kids, go do something fun for the night, you know. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So, <laughs> you're going to be in the common man making these? Yes. Like inside or is it going to be like out on a Inside. Yeah. Um, so, it's in the, the governor's chamber. That's the okay. room that we usually have. So, um, for because the sign is so long I and big, I max out um, 11 people at the yeah. most. Um, for my events to happen, I usually have a minimum of people um, so that... You know, it's not like I'm just doing it with just one person because, yeah. you know, I do pay for the space and everything. Mm -hmm. So and that's included in what you pay me. So to do this particular sign is sixty five dollars mm -hmm. um, and that includes the pricing for your space and for your product and for me to teach you how to do it. Yeah. So pretty cool um yeah it's, yeah it's fun yeah because i was thinking cause you were talking about mason jars and then like yep. yeah and this time it's like you're gonna walk out of there this is a good dinner and you have this huge sign <laughs> right it's pretty cool yeah yeah so it, it, you know it all depends on what you sign up for yeah. and try to change it out you know i am gonna have the mason jar it's neat it's a mason jar that's hanging now you do a nice little you choose of what you want for flowers or greenery in the top of it and then inside the mason jar is lights so it lights up so it's a nice home decor yeah that's pretty that cool you get to make and you know i bring you all the supplies everything that you need so you're not having to go out and go here and there to get all the different stuff yeah i bring it all there for you so you get to pick what you'd like to do yeah so are you a pretty creative person yes I guess? yes yeah yeah because right. so I was wondering, because with, I guess with all the different designs, and then, you know, just to bring a little bit of, uh, I guess, new work in there, you're probably going to be pretty creative. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm always, you know, I get a lot of ideas by, you know, just looking at pictures. And, yeah. Um, you know, people send me a picture, can you make this? And I make it. Yeah. And, you know, and, and my husband, because he does the woodworking part, because mm -hmm. I, I have this thing. I don't like dealing with saws. I like to keep my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I show him a picture and he makes it. So we may, you know, if you would like something made, you know, if you don't want to make something mm -hmm. and you want something made, you can send us a picture and I'll give you a price of how much it would cost. I mean, we've got, done anything from wedding signs to an arbor for a wedding, <laughs> um, to, um, entertainment stand, you know, basically, you know, anything you know, you send us a picture and we figure out whether or not we can make it and we make it. So. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, so it's fun. Yeah. So is Pinterest one of your favorite uh, things? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. <laughs> that is endless. Endless ideas right there. Yeah. 
for it's interesting ever since Pinterest has come out it's like yeah if you need something or just a little creative jolt just go spend a few hours kicking around <laughs> yes oh yes that I have I'll, that's where I get some of the ideas for the vents and also for making stuff yeah yeah that's pretty cool I like that and do the kids get to help at all um, they, free labor they, they do they do <laughs> they they like to um, I, they like to help with giving their opinions and then sometimes you know when setting up at the common man um you know they help with bringing stuff up and because it is on the second floor so they help with bringing stuff in and and setting up and um you know like just little things loading up the car yeah you know that's good it's good it's It's a little family thing yeah it is it's a it's a family business yeah you know (laughs) part of my thing is you know from our home to yours, you know, when make something because I'm literally making it in my home and it's going to go to your home. Yeah. You know, when it's <laughs> things, you know, that you buy and, um, you know, even right down to this, you know, it's, you know, we're making it in our home because we pre put it together. So you yeah. get a plain white wooden, not white, but natural yeah. wood board is what you get. And, you get to paint it and hmm. write on it and, and do all that stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Cool. So we're going to take a quick moment for the sponsors. So everyone, hold on. If you would like to be a member of the New Hampshire Business Show Business Card Board Club. <laughs> I love that name. I just keep making it more ridiculous as we go. Uh, it's $20 a year, and you get to throw your business card up on the board behind us over here. And so every episode... People over there can see your card, and it might be a little blurry, but as the videos get a little better quality, as they get better cameras, that's a little better seen. And I do things like shout-outs on social media and all that stuff, so there's a lot to it. So if you wanted to know more, reach out, let me know, and uh, we'll get your card up there. Sales training is the number one thing you should be doing as an entrepreneur. Every day, you should know how to sell to your clients, you need to know who your clients are, you need to know how to build... Um, an offer for them. So because you're part of the New Hampshire Business Show, you get 25% off using the code NHBS25 with a Lemoore uh, Goldmine Sales Training Series. Check them out. For the business, are you looking, like, where are you looking to take in the future, like, as far as expanding or generally staying about where it is now? Um, well... Last year, I did, um, two craft fairs, um, Mm -hmm. for the first time, and it did pretty well and it got my name out our name out a little bit more um and you know i like doing the events at the common man and you know i hope to do some um more craft fairs i am going to be doing the um crafters market that's going to be happening starting in july um July through August Mm -hmm. with the co-cottage creations. Um, I am going to be there um, a couple of the weeks. Haven't quite decided which weeks because (laughs) I am teaming up with somebody else. Um, We're sharing spots, so we're kind of alternating Saturdays. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I hope to do some more craft fairs. Hopefully, maybe my number one question that I get is, do you have a store? And it's like, no, not yet. (laughs) So it would be nice. That would be an ultimate goal is to have a store, you know, to have my stuff in. Um, I am lucky that um, right in Allenstown, there is um, a diner called Allenstown Country Diner. And they let me actually put up my decor in there. And um, they sell it for me. She sees it as, because I tell people, oh, you know, I'm putting more stuff up there. Yeah. You know, so she sees it as advertisement for her Mm -hmm. um, because I tell people that my stuff is in there and um, what's nice is she doesn't charge me so you know what you pay for an item I get that fully Um, because she sees it as free decor that constantly changes which is nice so you know it's nice to be able to work with another person you know business wise you know that is local and um, you know we help each other out yeah it makes sense it's a really good setup I know a lot of people, uh, when you work on a deal like that, there's a lot of sharing of profit. Right. And But it's good to see that, yeah, you know, people come in and they're going to eat there. Right. <laughs> and they can get some of the stuff, too, so I'm glad that works out well for you. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's nice, you know, especially during the holidays. That's yeah. where 
people are like, oh, oh, I didn't get that Mother's Day gift or Father's Day gift. So, yeah. you know, oh, I can, that, that'll be perfect. You know? Yeah. So, it yeah. And nice. you're right. That's a, I should really good idea. keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> for the, all the holidays, I always forget in birthdays, you know, it's, I hate that. <laughs> so, I forgot what was going with that. Uh, oh, yeah. To be able to go eat somewhere yeah, and then eat pick somewhere, up somewhere. Have something like that kind of on hand to be able to gift out. It's really, really, really cool. Yeah. And so, oh, that was a question I was going to ask. So you have no store. There's no physical property that does it because you make everything at your house. And then you right. kind of, there's a couple places that sell your stuff. Yeah. Um, is that how you just do your most, most of your business that way? Um, you I sell on, on Facebook. Okay. Um, so I'll post everything that I make, I post on Facebook. If it is something that I, you know, because there are some items that are unique that um, it's like one item and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I'll say, you know, this is the one and only item. Yeah. Um, you know, like, for example, um, at Christmas time, I had the... This, I had found this cute little wagon and mm -hmm. I had dressed it up with a tree and like made little presents and stuff but I have yet to find another wagon like that so that was like a yeah. one and done thing um, but I try to do stuff that I can make over so that if somebody wants it or if they want it and it a little different I'm able to do that it's but, pretty cool. You know, so I saw online, I can ship, or I generally meet people, because a lot of people are usually local, so yeah. I meet. But I, I have shipped some items, if the buyer is willing to pay for shipping. Yeah. I'm willing to ship. Um, I have also started, um, because I just realized that Square has um, the ability to have an online store. So I'm starting to do that. So, you know, being hmm. new to having own business yeah. you know it's like you're finding out these things and so that's what i'm starting to use also <laughs> so not only facebook but square yeah um that's pretty cool yeah uh do you have a product that sells typically better than all the other ones or more often um the the signs have been like mm -hmm. a current you know certain sayings you know like always kiss me good night or yeah. if um, anything about family, um, signs has always <laughs> been the big thing. Yeah. Um, but the, it's hard because, you know, depending on what I make for a home decor piece, you know, uh, either some people want it right away, you know, or it sits a little bit and then it sells later on. So it, it all depends on what people are looking for. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. So people that want to reach out, get in touch with you, learn a little more, how do they do it? Um, mainly Facebook. I have started an Instagram page as well, okay. um, which has been good. So th those two social media things, um, either way, um, both of them, I mean, if you just even do a Google search, you know, it comes up right away for Facebook, which is nice. Um, and, th or, you know, I have an email address, which it's the same. I try to be consistent, yeah. make it easy. Um, and, um, you know, it, they can call me if have any problems because my cell phone is the number that I use. Yeah. That's on my business card. Cool. So. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you for coming on today. It's been thank a lot you. of fun. I yeah. like the, I like what you do. Thank Pretty you. Cool. Thank you very much. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, that it is it for today. We're going to have the last word from our sponsors and everyone have a great day. So there's a change to the New Hampshire Business Show sponsorship of one of our sponsors. He's no longer Zim Ventures. He is 3UP Golf. So you, if you are a golfer and you want to make your own yardage books, check out his program. He helps you walk. He walks you through making your own. And uh, it's pretty cool. You'll see in a couple days. That's it for today, everyone. But it doesn't have to end there. Head over to iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or iHeartRadio to get more from New Hampshire's top entrepreneurs.